And I've just been listening to you, Madeline, playing in the leader class. And frankly, I mean, there was lovely, lovely singing, but I could have just listened to you play all those pieces through. They were so different. Uh, they sounded really difficult to me, but beautiful, beautiful playing. Did you enjoy it? You looked like you were enjoying it. it. It's my favourite class because the, the piano part is as important as the vocal part. So, for, you know, for ego reasons, I love it. <laughs> well, <laughs> not just going umpa, umpa, umpa all the way through. <laughs> I don't think you've ever done that, <laughs> ever, ever. Now, Mandy, Madeline, this is something about an orchestra. It is. Well, we have talked for a number of years mm -hmm. about the idea of setting up a rehearsal orchestra. What is a rehearsal orchestra, you might ask? Well, it's for people to just come along and play. There's no pressure of getting ready for a public performance. You might have got your instrument last week and just started it. You might have an instrument that's been in your cupboard for 25 years and you've not had it out from when you were 14 years old. You might be a really experienced player who just wants to come and play more. So the idea is we'll just get together once a quarter, we're thinking at the moment, play through some great music and then all we'll go home. And, and that's that. So the Manx Rehearsal Orchestra, uh, as I say, we've spoken about it for years. We decided about two weeks ago, let's just do it. Let's not talk about it anymore. Let's have a go. Well, I think it's a fabulous idea. And isn't the Guild a good time when you've got lots of people that you can chat it to and then they'll go and chat to other people? I've or been telling everyone about it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to get your French horn out again? That kind of thing. I'm digging out my violin from 20 years ago, so... Really? Uh, yeah. Really? But the, it's, it's to, to, to me, somebody who, who sees you as so accomplished as a pianist, to think that you've got another all instrument in your repertoire that... Oh, yeah, but I'm bad that at you, it. <laughs> I, I, was, I met my husband through the Bank Symphony Orchestra and I was sitting back a second and I'd mime the violin. I didn't really play it. <laughs> <laughs> Miming the violin well, is, really the, is the ultimate. Orchestra, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But Mandy, you, some years ago you said to me, oh, I'm not a pianist. I'm not a pianist at all. But you, you said you were going to push yourself out of your comfort zone and now you are a pianist, aren't you? No. <laughs> <laughs> and I suspect Madeline would agree with that. No, no. I tinker, I dabble, I really enjoy it. And it's something, if I had more time, it's, time's always the thing, isn't it? If I had more time, I would really love to do more piano stuff. But I do what I can and I enjoy doing what I can. And like I say, I'm a dabbler, but I would never, ever call myself a pianist. Mm, well, I've seen you playing on important occasions, but anyway. So what's the instrument that you are going to bring to the rehearsal orchestra? Well, at, currently, in our, in our first, yes, I'm the baton. That's what I'm bringing to this first session, which is happening on the 12th of May, 2.30 p.m. in St. Andrew's Church. Um, I'm going to bring my baton. I'm going to conduct the first session. But when we were speaking about it, we were thinking, it might be a great opportunity going forward if anyone else wants to have a go of conducting they can also come and conduct at the rehearsal orchestra because there's no pressure and no one's going to be worrying about getting ready for a concert or something not being quite right so we thought it might be a great development opportunity for for people as well that is a brilliant idea because if you've always had a desire to try something where do you go to do it you, you well, know exactly. you can't you can't go to an established orchestra and say please may i try conducting and yeah. you know it's very hard to um get into conducting because you can't just gather 50 you can't just find 50 musicians and say right then i'm going to learn to conduct today that doesn't happen how have you been doing with the choral society what do you do? How did you practice conducting before you had your first go with the orchestra and the choir? Oh, well, I was quite... So I, I conduct the Alaman Choral Society now. So I suppose I've been conducting choirs for a little while, but then doing the orchestra was a, was a different thing. But I, when I was at university, I did a little bit of orchestral conducting then as part of my course a long, long time ago now. So I went back to doing a really basic sort of conducting beat patterns and things like that. And then uh, with the magic of Zoom, my old conducting professor is still around and we, we got in touch via Zoom. And, and so uh, each year, actually, I have some lessons with him before I go in front of the orchestra to just try and make sure that I'm not going to uh, make it tricky for anyone. Because that is, we do have a concert and we have two rehearsals. But uh, this, this will be less pressured for me as well. <laughs> well, frankly, I, I, I can't wait. I, I, want to, I want to come and, um, and peek through the window and see see how many familiar faces there are with unfamiliar instruments and, and, and this kind of thing. So it's St Andrew's URC Church, nice and easy, loads of easy parking at the traffic lights at Glen Crutchley Road there, the, the St Indian's mm -hmm. Corner there. So that's where it is. And the date again, Madeline, is the... Sunday the 12th of May. So the Sunday after the Guild is completely finished, like a week yes. on Sunday. Yeah. There you go. And there's a fee, there's a fee, £10 per person. 
that's right, isn't it? Ten what? pounds per person. Uh, five pounds for anyone under eighteen. So under eighteens are welcome, but they must have an accompanying adult with them. And it's ten pounds for adults yeah. and five pounds for children. for children who must be accompanied. Yes. And do you need to book in advance, or do you, or can people can just come along? Uh, we'd like to know who's coming, just for an idea of numbers, because we know we know one person's coming so far. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sure there's been lots of verbal, but only one written confirmation of anyone. Everyone's like, yes, we we'll probably will come. But so yes. do you mean this could be the rehearsal ensemble, just to start off with, no, rather than? I'm no. sure it's going to be an orchestra. We've got a Facebook page, Manx Rehearsal Orchestra. So if anyone would like to know more or to let us know they're coming that's that's the place that's to, the to look yeah. Yeah. so go to facebook.com search for Manx Rehearsal Orchestra all the details will be there people can indicate their uh, their willingness to come they can sign up they can tell you that they're going to bring their flugel horn or whatever it might be and um, I think it's absolutely brilliant I wish you every success thank you for telling us about it and I shall spread the word everywhere I go thank you very much thank you Judith